Craig Bowl, what are you doing to me, man? And I know it's not his fault, but Wyoming looked absolutely inept in this game on Saturday against Illinois. Uh, the Fighting Illini win 38-6. to They didn't really have to do a whole lot. They missed some field goals. The game really shouldn't have even been this close. Uh, as, as multiple people have said, and I think Parker was the first to say it over at Stats of War, which, by the way, you can catch him with me on the BetUS College Football Show. Uh, I, I look at this, and I think that Wyoming does not even have a two-deep full of legit FBS players. Like, uh, Parker said it first, but when you watch this game, it was not what you expect from a Craig Bowl offense, for sure. It, it's just painful to watch. Uh, we'll move it over to the stats here. And, oh, I mean, brother, that is... It, for Illinois, uh, they had an advantage in offensive yards per play, 6.45 to 4.35. They had more total yards, 490 to only 213 for Wyoming. Uh, they had zero turnovers to three for Wyoming. They converted uh, 43.75% of their third downs, which is not great, but Wyoming only converted 8.33%. I mean, it's not good. Uh, fourth down tries, you know, Illinois went for it twice and got one of them. Uh, Wyoming only tried once and did not get it. Uh, after that, I mean, the field position, like Illinois averaged starting on their own 39-yard line. Uh, Wyoming basically a touchback every time. Uh, just just brutal. Uh, when you look at the actual stats as far as like expected points, etc. I mean, this was just, I mean, about as brutal as you could get. Just as brutal as you, I, I don't even know how to, how to put this into context, uh, Wyoming is terrible. I mean, they are just a really, really bad team. Um, when you look at when you look at the players here, I I mean, the quarterback was, what, 5 out of 20 passing? I mean, it's just not good. Not good at all. Um, you know, Tommy DeVito, I will, let's, let's talk good things about Illinois now. Illinois, Tommy DeVito looked good in this offense, and they, they looked fun. Like, this was a fun, fun ball club. Uh, I like what Barry Lunny's doing on offense right now. I mean, this is, go- like, really, really awesome. Uh, Chase Brown, by the way, 19 carries for 151 yards, two touchdowns. He did have some catches as well. Tommy DeVito was 27 out of 37 passing for 194 yards and two touchdowns. And I will tell you this about Illinois. They did not show anything in this ballgame. There was nothing out of the ordinary they just lined up and whipped the guys across from them. Second half, you could really tell the difference in the offensive line for Illinois and the defensive line for Wyoming uh, because Illinois outweighed them by an average of like 50-something pounds per player. Just an absolute beatdown of those players. And, I mean, Illinois did what they were supposed to do. Wyoming looks like they are going to be in some serious trouble. All those players that they lost to the transfer portal, uh, that's rough. I mean, this this game against Tulsa next week, the line is already jumping. Uh, we'll probably talk about it on uh, the BetUS College Football Show. But, man, just brutal. Just brutal. Uh, Wyoming, uh, we wish you the best. We hope that you guys develop well. But this is going to be a rough year for sure. Illinois looks like fun. This could be a surprise team. You guys know how much I enjoy Brett Bielema. Uh, he looks like he's going to have fun with this bunch for sure. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.